This is just a photo of a girl, an outfit set, and a random street in Tokyo. But when I combine them inside Google Wix, the impossible happens. All eyes on me. That photo just came alive, completely AI generated and totally free. You can turn yourself to anyone you like. Thank you for joining me today. Be anywhere you like. And dress anyhow you like using this new AI tool called Google Disk. Today, I will show you how to use Google's new AI tool called Google Visp, which blends the image generation capabilities of Nano Banana AI and VEO3 animation capabilities to create a masterpiece of anything that you like. If you love seeing what's next in AI, welcome to Everyday Life with Jim. I'm going to put the link to Google Whisk in the first link in the description. So of course you can just go there and peruse it. Google Whisk is very beautiful because it has the capabilities of creating images for you, merging those images together and then transforming the merged image into a video. Now when you open the Google Whisk website like this, you have to go over to this section here and sign in, very important. And when you sign in, I think they give you 80 AI free credits every month. Okay, so once you've opened here, you're going to click enter tool. When you enter the tool, it looks like this. Okay, so coming to this side, if you click the arrow here, it goes, and if you click it here, here comes out. Okay, so you have subject, you have a scene, and you have a style. So let me quickly explain to you what it does. Now, when you click this portion that is called subject, you're talking about the main character of whatever story you want to tell, right? So there are two ways you can import your subject. You can either import your subject with text. That means when you click text, you're going to describe the kind of subject you want to create. So for example, I'm going to say, create a Nigerian man in his 40s. Pardon the spellings, please. So once you write this, this portion of this video is working with Nano Banana AI. I've made a video about Nano Banana, what it does, how to use it. It is amazing, it's fantastic. And Nano Banana is 100% free, no credits or anything. I'm going to put a link in my description box for the Nano Banana tutorial. And of course, you can click up here also to access that tutorial. Really, really nice. Okay. So after writing this, you're going to click generate. It's going to take some time to load off here and it's going to generate the image for us. Wow, our image is generated. Okay, if you click this button here, you can update the image. You can click it and adjust the prompt of whatever you want the man to look like. It does not look like exactly how you like, right? So you can click this arrow here and download it to your device. It's downloaded. Let's open it and see what it looks like. So this is the Nigerian man that it created for me. Very real looking man, right? Very real looking man. Now, still back on this subject in case you want to add something else to this subject okay you can click the plus button here and add something else please note that i use the text feature just to show you how nano banana works you can always of course upload your own image and use your own image in this test okay now let's say for example i want him to wear a suit i want to click here and i'm going to write an expensive suit and generate it's going to take some time to generate what I'm trying to do is that I want the subject that is right here to also be wearing a suit, which the AI is going to, uh, you know, generate. See, the AI has generated the suit. You can just click this arrow here to download it to your device. So you just have a copy of it, right? So this is what the suit looks like. Because the guy is just showing half top. That's why the suit is just showing half top, okay? So now that we have our subject and we are telling Nano Banana that wants our subject to wear this outfit, now we're talking about a scene. Now in the scene, you can also use upload an image of the scene. Let's say, for example, you want the man to be on the beach. You can upload an image of a beach photo and the man will be there. I'll show you that with another um, example. For this example, I want to do everything in text, right? So text here, I'm going to write a luxurious CEO office. Right, and we're going to click generate. So it's still going to use the Nano Banana software right here to generate this CEO office. So understand what we are doing. We are telling the AI platform that we want this subject to wear this dress, right? If you put a hair here, they're supposed to wear the hair. If you put a cat there, the cat will be beside the man. Do you understand? 
and then you have generated this fantastic image of the CEO office. Of course, you can download it as well. Now, here that it says style, let's say, for example, you want the video to be in a Ghibli style, you want it to be in an animated style, you want it to look realistic, or you just want it to look exactly the way it's looking right here, you can leave it blank. But if you have an image of the style, maybe you have like a freeze frame from a movie, you like the color that was used in that movie, you can put that image right here. And so it's tell um, risk that this man dressed in this suit, in this office, and the video should be generated in this way. So you have put all that into the risk experiment and now we are going to click they ask you what is your idea they're going to describe the idea so you're going to say the man is wearing the suits and sitting in the ceo office right so we've done that you can press the arrow key now if you don't have ideas of what you want to do you can as well click this dice button you can roll a dice and just create some fantastic prompts that will work with the images and the scenes with the style that you've already created i'm going to press arrow now this is going to take some time to load because what he's doing now is is merging all the details of the image that we want to create to create a final picture for us now once we have the final picture we'll now go to the second part of what google Biz can do which is to animate that final video to look exactly the way you want so now our image is done generating and look at what it created guys right look at the two of them so let's click the download button save it and let's see what it looks like wow see him so you can see the man he's in that suit and he's in this office that we created so you can do this with your personal picture put your picture put a different um, you in a different place and you know generate that's what i used in the intro and if you want more images you just keep pressing the arrow and you keep getting more images generated right as you've gotten the images that you want generated that merges everything you're going to click this button up here that says animate what this does is that it takes this image you've generated and takes it to veo3 now i have a very interesting video on how to get google veo3 for free i have so many videos on google veo but the last video i did on how to get google VO for free fantastic video i'm going to link it up above and it's also going to be in the description box you can go and enjoy that video that one teaches you how to get VO for totally free which is the premiere the very best ai engine for video editing so when you click animate it brings you here and it tells you what you want the animation to be so what i want it to be i want him to get up this is what i wrote you can you read it so once you've written what you want him to say you're going to press the arrow to give it time for the video to cook it's going to count from five percent all the way to 100 percent once it's done generating you click the download button and this is what we have Please subscribe to this channel if you are learning something. So that's basically the process of using Google Wiz. It's very interesting. It's very fun. You do have free credits that you can use to try it out. Play with your videos, play with yourself, play with your images and have fun. So if you've learned something in the video so far, my name is Jane Ibo. Please follow me on all socials. I'm at Everyday Life with Jane on TikTok, Everyday Life with Jane on Facebook. Until I see you guys on another video, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you all for all the love on the previous video. I saw all your comments and I love you all for watching. So before you go, watch this video. Watch this particular video. Watch it, right? You learned something from it. Bye.